I left my heart in San Francisco. Welcome back, everybody. It is the PM Show with Larry and Nancy Minetti. Did I did I cut it off? I'm, I'm look. I'm look. I'm <laughs> looking at Nancy with her witch hat. Anyway, let, let's get Rick back. Well, hold on, Larry, I do want to I do want to tease you guys a little bit. I don't even think we discussed this before the show, but I found online what they're calling the ultimate Magnum PI quiz. Oh, really? And I'm proposing that if we can, possibly that we take the ultimate Magnum PI quiz and see what kind of results we get. Okay. okay that's you guys great. game for that? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. So we'll do that in a little bit. Uh, Chef Rick on the line, of course, talking about great seasonal recipes. I just learned some shortcuts in the kitchen that are going to save me a lot of time, and oh. really I'll get some great stuff for my kids. I love it. Fabulous. Yeah, just great fabulous. stuff. Just fabulous. Chef Rick, now, I mean, you know, of course, you've been a chef for a long time. When you come up with these great shortcuts kind of in the kitchen, I mean, you know, you should put together like a book. A shortcut book for us, you know. Cocktail book. Yeah, like a, like a cocktail. Well, not a cocktail book, Larry. He's you, always thinking this guy. Cocktail book. Really He's always thinking this guy. Hold that, hold that. Wait a minute. It's called, a, minute. Called, it's called a cocktail table book. Oh, oh a uh, cocktail yeah. gotcha. table. Yeah, yeah. You guys watch Seinfeld. Kramer came coffee, up with Coffee it. table. <laughs> coffee yeah. table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm following you. You know, Larry and I have been talking about that with Nancy, and I, I think we're going to do it. We're going to take these recipes. We're going to put them together. Yeah. We're going to put some great recipes together and some great shortcuts because, you know, you should cook and have fun. And as you mentioned, it's a great thing to do with the kids. It's always a great thing to do with the kids. You can roll out those biscuits and give them some cookie cutters sure. and have them cut out the biscuits with the cookie cutters. And then you have the little shape that's missing and you put that on top of the pot pie and it looks like it's decorative. Adorable. Absolutely. And you know what? Kids always eat better when they help you and they can work with the food because then if they've made it, they want to taste it. Absolutely. Yeah. Even well, that's why I became a yeah. chef, because I like playing with my food. All right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Chef Rick. I'm now, glad you cleaned that up, too. All right. <laughs> now, Chef Rick, uh, you know, of course, a lot of people getting ready for Thanksgiving season, but some people for, you know, even now this early in the season are cooking turkeys and chickens and everything else. When we're cooking a turkey, how long should we set aside for the prep and cook time to get a nice big turkey ready for our family? Well, you know, it all depends on the state the turkey's in. Is it frozen or fresh? Are you putting it in a regular oven, a convection oven? Are you deep frying it? Is it a breast? Is it a whole turkey? There's so many variables. So you want to look at the manufacturer's suggested cooking time. Yeah. And today, we they, they kind of make it easy. They have those pop-up timers. But I, I go by the test and true thermometer. I pull my turkey at 155 degrees. It will raise up to about 165 degrees. And it's perfect and moist each and every time. So you want to put that thermometer right in the thickest part of the thigh or the breast and take that temperature. That's awesome. And 155, 165, you're, you're looking good in that in that region there. You know, you're looking I good remember, when you get it hotter, it starts to dry out. Okay. I remember, Chef Rick, that um, I think my mother taught me it's 20 minutes a pound. This is if it's thawed. 20 minutes mm -hmm. a pound if it's unstuffed and 25 unstuffed. if it's stuffed. You know, you're absolutely right, Nancy, and I just want to caution listeners. If you are going to stuff your turkey, make sure that you take the internal temperature of the stuffing. Mm. It has to reach 165 degrees. Ah, Excellent okay, advice. good yeah. advice. advice, very good advice. You don't want people passing out on your couch after they had your dinner. <laughs> no, no, it'll, <laughs> it'll make, a, make a short meal really quick. Right. Hey, Chef Rick, since Halloween is tomorrow, can you give us a quick tip? on what to do with a pumpkin after the kids have carved it so you don't okay, well, have to throw it yeah. out? You know what? I'd, I'd absolutely love to. I'll tell you what I do with them. And, 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 and I buy a sugar pumpkin. There's a lot of kind of pumpkins. In fact, the ones we make out of big jack-o'-lanterns are a little meatier. However, the little sugar pumpkins, the short of cute ones that you can carve out, right. those are the sweetest for making the pumpkin pies and the pumpkin oh. dishes. But what I like to do with the, with the large jack-o'-lanterns is after we're done with Halloween, I take them indoors, I peel them and cube them, sort of much like you do a squash, right. and then I roast it in the oven with a little bit of olive oil, salt, and pepper, and I finish it with a little butter and brown sugar. Absolutely and it, delicious. Wow. You know, you can cube it, you can mash it. I like to cube it. Maybe one and a half, two inch cubes. Yeah. Peel it nice, cube it. Just put it in a casserole dish or flat on a cookie sheet in your oven. Yeah. Roast it with a little olive oil and salt and pepper at about 450 degrees. Depending on how much you have, you want to make sure it's tender and golden brown. Right. And when you pull it out, you finish it off with a little butter and brown sugar. 
you got my ma- marshmallows. Wow. You've got my mouth water. Absolutely. <laughs> Chef Rick, uh, for our listeners out there, all this and more can be found, the recipes, and, and even you could order great uh, products online directly from myristelidirect.com forward slash Chef Rick. I want to know if he has yeah. anything special for Ristelli Direct. Well, let me tell you what we're going to do special for the holidays. In just a few days, it hasn't all right now, but in just a few days, you're actually going to be able to buy a whole Thanksgiving Day turkey dinner from Plainville Farms. Wow. It's, wow. A, it's an authentic farm that raises its own turkeys. No modified feed, no no uh, ingredient, no, no substitutes, no hormones. Guys, be sure to check it out. MyRostelliDirect.com forward slash Chef Rick. We'll be back. Thanks, Chef, Chef Rick. Don't leave, Rick. Attention business owners. If your company is having trouble paying its bills, there are many ways your creditors